And the Turks came to Germany in the 50s, invited by the government to help with the workforce. Everything seemed to be fine. Germany stayed intact. Everything worked out well. And these workers, well, they looked different, they were different, they had different cultures, and they were just guest workers. So nobody really cared for that. They kept with each other and themselves. But eventually, well, they also just didn't want to work and be alone. So they were also importing their wives. And with the wives, there came children. And these children grew up in Germany, looking distinguished from the Germans growing up in a different culture within their little four walls, their little apartments. And suddenly a question arose. What are they going to do there? Are they Turkish now or are they German? Because they were definitely not German. But they were absolutely not Turkish anymore either. What forwards a culture or people from a certain culture to go to a different place to work and not be part of that other culture in a non-interfering way. I mean, who does that? Who exits their country to go to a different country and not just go with the people? That's the question. Usually these are uneducated, risen in fear people. People who, who are afraid of the Shawistle. People who are superstitious. Now, in Germany, it made a tremendous difference when the children rose. Because now, the low end of the Germans, and now we're entering pretty much the 70s, not that happy being on that low end. Because in the 70s, things rose like consciousness, so they're down want to just be doing what daddy did and felt undermined because it's not only the the system did begin to give them opportunities but the parents didn't their social environment didn't allow them to go over and do something else do something more because of the hindering self-esteem the fathers had no self-esteem, so they couldn't possibly handle their son being on top of them because the only way a man could talk and be somebody wasn't at his job. It was home where he can command and dictate the wife and the children. So little asshole became a little dictator. That's always how it goes. So when the Turkish grew up, the Germans actually felt, well, that's actually not such of a bad thing because now we are higher than them. We have somebody to spit upon. Daddy yells at mommy and daddy yells at us and mommy yells at us. And now we can yell at the Turks. So they were called and named Kanaken. Kanaken is nothing, maybe a word invented, but it means something like, I don't really understand what you're saying. It's like yada, yada, nada, nada in Germany. So now we have a different hierarchy. Now we have social statuses, not a class system. But where injustice and unfairness is on top of the list of people. And that stings. So what I am saying is that no society, and I don't want to say not even Germany, can live only with values of materialistic endeavors. Because even in Germany, where it wasn't about buying and throwing things out like in America, but to do things right and do them nicely and have quality, if the human is not really involved as the human being, nothing works. And the human just wasn't in the equation. The human was there to deliver quality, punctuality, and straightforward, yes, thinking, but not for the purpose of humanity as humans, but for the purpose of the stuff they would do, because that would be their service. Very Lutheran again, the workforce 
will set us free. And Marx had something different in mind. Because ultimately, when Marx talked in that little book, he was really nice, actually, where um, Erich Fromm analyzes Marx and Freud. Because it says it there, if you want to read it, it's fun. I mean, to me, it's fun because I'm into knowledge. It is all about being, having leisure time. The whole idea about economically distributing the stuff and be all together, it is about having leisure time. But leisure time in a real human being means doing stuff with yourself. And that means to be closer to God. I'm sorry, closer to God is not reading dumb books and texts we don't understand and being in cold places like churches. No, closer to God is being closer to creation. God the creator. And that means you have to be creative. And actually it means that in your leisure time you might want to just explore something creative like reading or maybe even writing maybe it's drawing maybe or whatever you do do it in a more creative way that's what it all comes down to and that is probably when orange becomes really sunshine golden <laughs>